Picture this. A new business was opening, and the owner was a DVE, a disadvantaged business enterprise. Started off from home and had grown that business. Had grown it to a multitude where he was doing very, 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 very successful. So he decided that I'm no longer going to operate from home. I'm going to get me an office, a corporate office that I can call my own. So the day that he was opening his corporate office, some friends sent him some flowers. And he thought it was a great gesture. As he opened the card from the flowers and read it, it read, rest in peace, R.I.P. <laughs> the business owner became outraged. He started yelling and screaming. Some of us do that as business owners, correct? He started fussing and he was mad. So he called up the floors and he said, how dare you send me this? This was a big mistake. And in the middle of going off on the floors, the floor said, sir, I can understand why you're mad. And yes, we did make a big mistake. But I need you to imagine this. While you're angry, there's someone out there at a funeral today and they have some flowers. And the note on their flowers said, congratulations on your new location. <laughs>
and those that are easy to work with. How many of you are easy to work with? Right. How many believe in solving problems and making the customers come first? Sometimes the customer thinks they are always right, correct? Sometimes you have to explore some strategies to make the customer feel right, even when they're not right. right? And in order to do that, you have to be a good communicator. You have to be willing to put people first. And you can't establish trust without establishing a relationship. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm from the west side of Chicago. We just rounded, rounded. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I need some help. Repeat after me. Everywhere we go, It starts with a dream, and we don't want to be boring today. We don't. We want to have some fun. How many of you want to have some fun? Yeah. All right. All right. So you want to have some fun? Who said? Right here. Where's my right here? All right. So she want to have some fun. So I need some participation. I want everybody to clap one time. Two times. to the television, I had the remote control to the sleep number B. 
and I had worked my sleep number all the way down to zero. It was zero on the side. I felt like I was having a stroke. And right then and there, I got a vision. Today I talked about vision boards. I got a vision. I said, this is what I'm going to do my speech on the next day in New York City. Because there are so many of us, so many of you, so many Americans, so many people across the country, you wake up every day and you push that same button. And you know what? You get the same result. You find yourself pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. You don't even take the time out to smell the roses or smell the coffee. And you realize that you're living what we call the definition of insanity. That you're doing the same thing every day and yet you're expecting different results. You just cannot do the same thing every day and expect that you're going to get different results. But let me add a little twist to that. If you want something different, you have to be willing to do something that you've never done. Sean is a highly sought after speaker, trainer, coach, author, and entrepreneur. Through powerful speeches and workshops each year, he inspires thousands of youths and adults throughout the country.